What are you doing here? <clears throat> I uh, heard you were selling the house. I wanted to see if you're getting rid of any of my old stuff. You're unbelievable. Am I supposed to believe that you came up here all the way from California just to come take some of your high school crap, but not to go to your father's funeral? Oh, it's not like that, you know it. Oh, it's not like what? You only came here today because you didn't think anyone would be here. Probably because you're too big of a coward to admit that you skipped your own father's funeral for what? What crap have you been feeding the mother who's been waiting patiently for your return? Maybe it'd be better if I left now. Maybe it would be better if I just left that, since obviously I can't do anything right in your oh, eyes. Calm down. Shut up, Carla! I was just trying to help. Fine. If it would be better for everyone in this family if I just left, then I will. Stop acting like an idiot, Markham. You're not going anywhere. No one wants you to leave. It doesn't matter what you want. What matters is that no good is going to come from me staying in this house. You couldn't possibly mean that! Not any better if you just left, Martin. You're here now. So you can start cleaning up the mess you made. Maybe you can start by explaining why you stayed away for the past seven years. You can come back. You wouldn't understand. No text, no phone calls, not even damn email letting me know that you're not dying. You don't get to tell me that I don't understand. I was there, Martin. You walked out of your own family and you didn't think to come back till most of it was already gone. You think that's what I want? You think if I had a choice, I would have chose to miss my own father's funeral? You did have a choice, meathead. No one was holding a gun to your face, forcing you to miss Dad's funeral. You wouldn't have wanted me there anyway. You made that pretty clear when he kicked me out on the street. Did you ever think about that? Like, maybe none of it was my choice? Have you been dropped from a very high place recently? No. No, because I remember that scenario very differently, sir. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was no kicking out of Martin. Martin chose to abandon his family. It's better if I stayed away. There's no sense in reopening old wounds. If I come back, Mom and Dad start fighting again, right? I was the problem. Your problem is you're so self-centered. Why on earth do you think they fought? Because of you? All four of us were always at each other's throats. It wasn't just you, sweetie. But apparently you were the only one unwilling to contribute to a solution. But when I left, things got better. When you left, you realized that we needed to get better. No, he didn't mean that. When your own father tells you that he never wants to see you again, you kind of have to take that to heart. He just said it in the heat of the moment. You're not going anywhere, Martin. You're 14. 14 year olds can't just run away. I just don't see why I should stay if no one wants me to be here. I want you here. You're my brother. Brothers don't get to just leave their sisters whenever they feel like it. I'm not going to leave, Carla. Brothers can't just leave their sisters whenever they feel like it. Promise? Promise. When you left, had to realize there was a reason that you abandoned ship. And not just because you're a whiny quitter, though that's what I was going for. But you didn't stick around to see us work out our problems. So what you're saying is if I'd stayed, we'd still all hate each other. No one hated you, Martin. None of us wanted you to leave, not even Dad. After you left, he completely broke down. It was a disaster. We all thought you'd come tracing through the door. How did you even know that Dad died? <clears throat> uh, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are unbelievable. I can't believe you think you just waltz back in here after all the trouble you've caused. I didn't think anyone would be here. So you weren't even planning on seeing me again? You just wanted to come back and grab your stuff. And act like your childhood never happened. Well, maybe you should do just that. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Leaving like you just told me to. Uh, not with that, you're not. Uh, Playing this with you is the only bright spot of my childhood. At least let me have this. Yahtzee! Wrong game, meathead! 
<laughs> Maybe Colonel Mustard's favorite catchphrase was Yahtzee. Did you ever think of that? Oh, don't, don't play the victim game with me. What makes you think you deserve it? Maybe this game is my only happy memory of you. Are you seriously doing this? Stop acting like a child! Sorry! Just go, Martin! Leave me to clean up your mess. It wouldn't be the first time. No. I'm done running from my mistakes. What? I should have apologized years ago. To everyone, not just you. But by leaving, I make everything better. But created an even wider rift between us. Are you apologizing to me? Yeah. No, it probably doesn't make any difference now. Truly, I'm sorry, Bob. Where's that the fourth time in a row you've beaten me? <laughs> yes, Colonel Oscar. 